Welcome to day two of my deluxe chicken coop build. So look at my happy chickens. So my chicken coop's gonna have some cool stuff. An automatic chicken coop door with look. Like beep, 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 I could close and open the door. In addition, you can set it by sunset or sundown. Uh, I have these louvers that I'm gonna be putting in, these little brown decorative louvers across the top with bug screens in them. I've got a stained glass window in it. Uh, I'm going all out. This is, will be really nice. In addition, they'll have Italian plaster on the outside. Come on now. This is, this is E Deluxe uh, Chicken Coop. Plantation doors. You can't get that from Tractor Supply. I don't care how hard you look. So welcome to my building today. Let's see how much we could get done of all of that daydreaming. Well, after eyeballing that for a minute or two, I need to uh, I need to build the frame so I can attach the hen house to it. So let's do that. Let's make a frame. I'm gonna cut it just a little short of that peak. I'll make a mark and then I'll measure down for it so that I can fit a tin in there, under there. Oh. I like working around the trees and keeping as much natural stuff as I can, but it's definitely in the way. <laughs> I mean, there's no doubt about it. Well, according to my scientific research, that's the right answer. See how wide the solar door needs. Well, I'm going to go right to the edge here. Leave a little bit. So I can maybe, maybe move it out. Let me get these these in here because I'll need them and I'll box in the the chicken frame door The door doesn't have any uh, Any screw heads top or bottom I'm gonna guess it ratchets through that metal panel So I want to make sure it has a little bit of room for that so it's 15. So if the door is 15, there's 15. It's got enough room to open all the way up. So I'm good with the door. Let's go ahead and build this part so that I can get the chicken box done and hopefully beat the, uh, beat the storm. Well, this front wall will have a door. I'm debating whether or not to put a window in it. I'll go look and see if I have a little window and screen, and if I do, I will put one in. Supposed to storm tomorrow. I'll do with my chickens. But right now they're hiding out underneath my shipping containers during the day, so I'm convinced that they'll just ride out the storm right there. out this little angle right here. I'm gonna cut that for an just one big solid piece and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I want that angle so we're 
you're looking at 48 inches, and over 48 inches, I've got a nine inch run. So let's go ahead and cut that. And I'll have to buy a new AOB saw one of these days, because I am rough on that one. Rough. All tools are disposable to me. They're burnt and like nails. And uh, caulk. They're part of the process. Alrighty. Oh gosh, this stuff's so heavy. Man, it's heavy. Alright, so if I flip that up, that short end's over there. I, uh, <laughs> I want the wood grain out when I do all of the, uh, when I do all the Italian plastering. A 21 and 9 is 30, so that side should be 30. Now let me think. Flipping it around, yeah. Now that should give me the right pitch. Oh my goodness, my circular saw hates me. That's gonna fit in there. I need a two by four across the top. One across the bottom. Let's put some Italian plaster on that wall. If I, would, I think I only had a pint here. I think if I would have had a full quart, then I could have gotten this by. I think the other sides are going to have to be a different color. Let's see if this is enough to get this done. Side of this I'm going to lime wash. I'm going to lime wash because lime kills parasites and uh, so I'll whitewash it with lime every every couple of years maybe every year depending on how much insects there are. So that's my solution to not having a whole bunch of mites on your chickens. Lime wash it. Oh darn it.
And unfortunately, I have some trim that might cover this stuff. This little bit. I might be short of it, but I might just let it weather just like this. Give it a little patina. <laughs> might, if I have faith, I might get it done. Uh, selling myself short. Would have helped if I wanted to drop that in the ground. <laughs> Look here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just get enough for Two sides to be one color. I'm, I'll go get another color, I bet. A bear or somebody. Somebody will have Italian marbles or plaster somewhere. I got some in there. Maybe uh, this here is, I don't know, like a teal is what this is. I don't know about you internet but i get a uh, very high reward factor when there's exactly the right amount of stuff and i have zero waste so i'm not a i'm not a, a waste guy i've learned to let paper towels go things like that i'll use a whole roll if i need to to clean a window but uh looky man that thing was exactly what i needed to get done for this so i'll have two sides that'll be this teal they'll be facing the outsides and that will be the inside of the coop uh, I've got green and I've got blue and I've got white so uh, or I could just accept that yellow tan <laughs> I mean I could I don't know I listen when I left the big city I said I am never looking at beige again uh, the big cities, the only color they allow is beige over beige over beige over beige. It's so boring. It's so not Texas. Texas used to be a land of color and vibrancy, and now we're just all just beige over beige over beige. And it denotes a lack of creativity on people's parts. At least paint an accent wall, I think. All right, let's 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 get some uh, additional lumber in here. 
So it'll be loosey goosey till I put in the final screws, but I am going to frame that out so that I could put that piece in we just got. All right, it's getting pretty late. Uh, I'm getting tired. The chickens want in their coop. So uh, let me get that board up and the side panels and we'll call that a night. And that feels pretty good to me. Put anything, screw anything down major. It should just slip in there. If I measured everything perfect. Perfect doesn't look out there, internet. We get towards perfect. Yep, perfect has arrived. Let me get some screws in here. I am way overheated. Way past due for knocking off. Oh man. I've seen the ch chicken circle once, so they really would like me to be gone. So they can lay down. They're like kids. Well, it's the evening. I got the chickens. They're in the coop. I got two sides of the coop done, all of the inside framed. Uh, I'm ready for the plantation doors, the electric door, uh, the louvers for ventilation. If it gets too hot, I'll get a solar fan for them in there as well. So this then tomorrow will become the egg box out here where I can collect eggs. I like my idea of little three gallon buckets for me to be able to pull out and wash. So um, I'll get those and cut those out. Um, I like the color that it is on these sides. I think that that's attractive. I think the teal's attractive. I think the uh, the uh, <laughs> I think the stained glass window makes it look really good. What do you guys think, huh? You happy? It's different, isn't it? You got water, you got food, everything. I'm going to see if they're, they'll make their way to the platform tonight. It's pretty high up there without a ramp. So this time of year when the heat, I'm way past what I should be for heat. Uh, I should have been in an hour ago. This is not healthy for your kidneys, not healthy for anything. But I had to get these guys in for the night, which meant uh, closing up that hole. So I didn't have a choice. So, uh, But this is Steve, A Thousand Year Homes. Like, subscribe, follow me along. I don't know if you could see there in my little roosting box the Texas rat snake came up and probably ate my eggs. Uh, I got to keep on him a little better. So we're going to give him a pass. I'm going to try to relocate him one time. I'll put a little nail polish on him. He is a rat snake, but they also they'll eat chicks and they'll eat uh, eggs. So he knows what he's doing.
like these plantation doors Lee and I put on the chicken coop. Now, taking a look here, I can see an opportunity for uh, more, more room than I had originally expected. Am I messing around and going diagonal? All right, I like the way I'm making this chicken coop out of found parts. But I happen to know it's the perfect size. Skills. Look at that there. Yeah, you found it right on the red right. cart. Yep. I really like this. It gives a lot of extra room for the chickens for roosting diagonal. That just happened to come up. But there you go. Borrow that idea, Internet. Copyright trademark, Steve Paul West. Don't be stealing my ideas. All right, you guys can steal it. And nothing special about my brain. Right, Leah? She's laughing about my brain. Now that no, hurts. No, 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 no. I'm. All right. I'm, uh, yeah. Laughing with me. Yes. My clown. Like funny to you. And then after that, there'll be the water, and I'll set up the water in there so that the chickens have endless water because I'll catch it from the roof into a. Uh, into a 30 gallon bucket and I then from there that. into a dispenser yeah just like that yeah these little shards I don't want the chickens to eat so I definitely agree with you Been easier if I would have drilled this hole oh. outside, you know, but Careful. I like a challenge. Man, I am really kind of bummed about that uh, freaking rat snake. He really took the wind out of my sail to not even let me have it, you know what I mean? Like a, a week before he's like, hey, yeah. chicken's on the menu, boys. But I guess it's good, right, that I see an enemy, well, but you, you know, right away. He's just doing what he's been told to do. You already had the thought in the back of your head. I you knew, just, right, because just, I've had chickens in Texas before. And you just haven't finished the project, so. I know, the darn heat, it's just. He just helps you, overwhelming, he you get on it he, more, he a lot quicker than it made, would. Made it real. Yes. And you and I have got to go do that. So, look, look, see there? Yep, perfect. If you were a chicken, would you roost on that? Yep. Oh, yeah, it's solid. So, now I just have to do this part. Okay, and well, shouldn't we pick these up? Yep, all those, throw them away. Thank you. Man, you did so much good work. What do you think? Lay them out here. I thought maybe one here, but, you know, I already got the window there. So I think the wind will come in. I'll have a block, or like you said, or something here, you know, no, with they a don't screen. Come with screws. They just. <laughs> they don't come with screws. They didn't come. Come on. Look, no and then look, they don't. Are they even going to open? So this at is all? how they say. Installation. You have the hole. Yeah, but are they going to open at all? And then they should. That's what they say. Put, maybe put it upside down. Oh, you know, it doesn't take much of a win. Mm -hmm. What's your verdict, Internet? Look at that, they're opening. How about a real light, light breath? Leah, do the softest breath you can. So they won't, well. Well, I'm just saying I would rather, if they didn't open them with, with I no. can see them open them. Not with mine, they didn't. Just breathe. Why are you a vampire? She's dead. 
How come they open up breathe for me, but they don't breathe for you? I tried it twice. You just saw that. I did. I did. Now I don't know if you're a real girl. Or you're a vampire. Maybe. All right, so let's get that piece on, and then I'll finish up. But the plantation doors will give ventilation. The uh, stained glass t is going to give ventilation. Uh, I'll make a little circular. I'll put the louver of, uh, in there for ventilation. Uh, here in Texas, it's not the cold I have to worry about, right? It is the heat. So I want that to be well ventilated. And then we'll work on the hen box. Uh, mighty hot again, so I don't know if I'll get that done today. A uh, horrible rainstorm last night. Uh, I guess 800,000 a million Texans are out of power. Now, I'm off grid. It doesn't impact me personally, but I, I feel bad for those folks because uh, I do know what it's like to uh, go without, right? Because I'm off grid. But let's continue on getting this chicken coop done, uh, you know, so the chickens have some security. I'll tell you that uh, chicken snake uh, is also rat snake. It's the same thing. Really took a lot of wind out of my sail. Now, I knew I'd have to put... Uh, I knew I'd have to put screen on here or rabbit cage uh, mesh to keep away the snakes. But now I'm worried they're just, during the day, they're just going to come right up, uh, you know, right up the uh, coop door and get in there. So I don't know. Maybe I'll put a camera in, motion detector, where I can at least look and uh, catch. Or maybe I'll, I'll put a, uh, I don't know. <laughs> It, I need the chickens to go in and, and lay eggs all by themselves. I free range them, so I mean, there's a door open all day long. Uh, man, and listen, I've always done this. I've always done this. And I, I, if you get enough chickens, you get ahead of the chicken snakes, you know, and uh, hopefully they don't kill your chicks. But uh, four of them, uh, three of them, that's at most three three eggs a day. I, I'm, you know, barely ahead of ahead of them and everybody will start coming so anyway let me let me get this part on and, and dress it up all right we got a cut i like in it i cut the door not all the way out i just notched it so hopefully i didn't mess that up look that li lined up pretty darn good didn't it, it Leah? Did. Good. we'll put one in the middle and then we'll oh, that's a good there. to start yeah and then we'll go find a quart of paint because the rest of it was the uh, Italian marble, and mm -hmm. I'm all out. And you and I will find a quart of paint, and we'll paint this. It'd be pretty if there was like a mural on it. Well, we got paint over there, so one of those colors will do. <laughs> but maybe we got lucked out over and we time. bought a color that we... Or over time, we can add to it, you know? I think it's looking pretty darn good right now. No, I mean painting it. No, it looks perfect. I love it. So uh, when you look inside the box, mm -hmm. there's nothing weird. It's there's not. It's not nope. snagged on anything. Nope. It's all in. Okay. Nope. It's all in. Well, you know, this is going to last a lot longer than those that tractor oh, supply one. Oh, gosh, of course. Yeah, that's uh, that's something else, really. It really is too expensive for yeah. what you're getting. And it'll fall apart in two years anyway. Yep. You know, not to be, you know, negative, but it's true. They don't build things like they used to. Well, that's what the first Reggie Cage was. And it didn't last at all. The pressed wood lasted longer mm -hmm. than the first Reggie gate. Mm -hmm. And if I remember right, it wasn't cheap. It was a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, it was. And uh, it just didn't hold up. All. Like you 219 know, or something. Just like those doors left out once in the rain, and now they're, you know, paper doors. Think about that. In what world is paper inappropriate? And doors are slammed all the time. It's an inappropriate material. Mm -hmm. Doors get stuff spilled on them all their life. Yeah. It's a high traffic, high demand thing. Yep. It's not a paper thing. One of those was already damaged when you picked it up. Okay. okay so cool. now, look at this weird shape. Like, it's weird. It looks like it's, um, what is it, an isosceles triangle? Yeah, I should cut this separate and put trim, you think, across the can top you, like a ledge? Yeah, like, your board? You, yeah, I mean. So, you know, I would, 
have a little ledge like that that would hide the seam. So oh, I see. cut this piece separate. And I have a piece like that. Let me go look at it. Alright, well I'm getting there. A little here, a little there, a little here, a little there. My angles are off just a smidgen, but not a lot. And once I run a trim piece in there, it'll look okay. I might trim that up a little bit. One last little piece on the end. That's a darn good looking chicken coop. Darn good looking chicken coop. How fun. You open it up and the chickens have a nice, one nice roost for four of them. Plenty of room. Chicken box I'm going to make probably tomorrow, but I've got to put that piece in next. And then I'm going to run a trim piece across the top to keep the rain off of the shutters and uh, just make it a little better. Well, that's wonderful good it, it looks great I'm gonna cut in the door here make a little ramp for them take away their things see if they go up in here tonight I'll babysit them a little bit but I think they will let me go ahead and cut that out there we go pretty happy I'm going to slip in a couple of pieces of tin temporarily in the roof tonight and uh, make that ramp, take away the chickens things, see if they'll get in. Maybe I'll leave them one and see if they'll just work it up all by themselves, the, uh, the stick to get up into the roost. So I'm pretty happy. We'll see if they're happy. So far they've been very good chickens. They've done everything I've ever asked them to do. I think the chickens will be satisfied. I think so. This is really cool. Way better than the ones, those kits you see, totally. This isn't going to fall apart. So what I think I'll do is I'll put some grain up. Oh, yeah. And so tonight. they'll use that, right? Well, we're finding out together. I'm not going to take away the roost. I've decided that's too big of a sweep for them to figure out. It seems like it's kind of steep. Do you have... We'll find out together. Like maybe a little, like lift it. We'll find so that... out together. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm ready to wash up. All right, so I took those that snake and I took them down to the bridge and did some bridge work, made sure it could drain. Nowhere near any houses, five miles away, literally. And uh, when I went to dump that snake out, there were two. <laughs> two in that box. Two chicken snakes in that box. So, ooh, poor little chicken. So look, tonight, what do I have? I've got done in a rough. The chicken door up, it's cut in. They can go inside. I don't have the egg hutch done. The wall is on. The uh, and I love these. They'll they can get ventilation. I can do whatever I want with them, so that's really good. I'll get a screen on those eventually. And then for uh, pretty here, and I've got this. I got this uh, stained glass window in that, so I really like that. And I I like the color, but I'm all out of this green. I'll have to do something else. 
Uh, what else do I have? Oh, I've got a water system to put in because I'll catch the water from the roof. I've got an electronic door. I'm going to move the uh, all of the animal food inside so that it'll be closed. So right underneath there, I'll have another exit for the chickens that I could pull up every day and let them out. All right. And then this was where the eggs, egg run will be. And I'll check it every time I feed a morning, uh, noon and evening to avoid the chicken snakes like I already got. So right now I, the storm is coming. I'm gonna look for tin so I can have tin on top of that in case the chickens go up there during the night. If not, they're still covered and I left them one roost so they can choose to go up or they can do that. But eventually I'll get rid of the roost once they get used to it. All right, well, that's that's enough for me to say phase two <laughs> that I, I'm done. I, I've got the chicken roost all done. Uh, $194 worth of parts versus whatever tractor supply would have done. Uh, I already had the two by fours that I salvaged. Uh, I bought some treated two by fours. Uh, I had the stained glass window. I had all the fasteners. I had the ramp and some bric-a-brac. So, uh, you know, if I threw all that in, I'm going to say I'm up to 250 right now. Oh, and I got sheets of tin. Out here in the country, you can get used sheets of tin for a dollar a foot, uh, sometimes less than that. But I got these for free, and I'll be cutting those and putting them on tonight. So, anyway, like, subscribe, follow me along. Uh, man, yeah, when I dumped that bin out, there are two rat snakes in there. And those are constrictors. Uh, they will they will try to kill chickens that are too big for them. So I, I've seen that with my own eyes. It's, it's horrible. All right, like, subscribe, follow me along. Bye.